Gemma! Gemma, wait up. Listen to me. Listen, Danny, I just need to go for a drive, okay? I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Emma, please! say good evening, but I'm sensing that all's not well. Yeah, I've just opened my big mouth and stuck my foot in it. Again. I'll tell her I'm sorry when she gets back. Does this kind of thing happen a lot? Why? You moving in? I was thinking about it. House round the corner. It's a great neighborhood. Yeah, it is. We don't always argue, but sometimes she works nights. So as long as you don't mind headlights going by at five after midnight. Well, I'm not really into sleeping. A night owl, eh? Name's Danny. Danny Douglas. Dr. Smith. I was just taking a walk. I find it's usually quieter after dark. And the stars are out. In my philosophy, everyone needs a trip out into the night. For clarity. She'll come back. And I'll fix everything like I usually do. Except for the night she doesn't. I'm sorry? Friends, family, children. Gifts that were given in life. We need to cherish them while they're still around. Trust me. I know. Blasted faulty wiring. Daddy? Go. Be with your daughter. She's the one that needs you the most. Daddy? Liza, I'm coming, sweetheart. I'm going to work. We'll talk about this when I get home. Emma, wait. Please. I'm sorry. I don't want to fight. I love you. Let's not be angry. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, love? Okay. I love you. I love you too. You again. It's been a while since I saw you last. How was the move? Oh, it was fine. Never did see any moving vans. Most of my belongings fit inside a rather large box. How was your daughter? She's doing well. Turned seven not too long ago. Oh, well, a happy birthday to her from me. Was that your wife just leaving? Yeah, on her way to hospital for night shift. You two still good? Yeah. We, uh, talk more. Tonight she's leaving on a good note. Did you tell her you love her? I did. Took that advice you gave me. Cherish the things we have. The people in our lives. Again! You should probably head inside. Yeah, right. You have a good night, Doctor. Sleep tight? Oh, no sleep for me. Power won't be back on until sometime later. I'll just be up till she gets back. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. But she's not coming back. You. I heard the news. I'm so sorry. I told her to be careful. 
I told her to drive safely. It wasn't your fault. Or hers. The other driver. He was drunk. There was nothing you could have done. You were there that night. You asked me if I told her I loved her. And you did. She knew that she was loved before. How am I supposed to do this? Be a single dad? It feels like she hasn't stopped crying since it... Since it happened. I know a thing or two about raising kids, Danny. I don't pretend to be an expert. But you must know three things. Tell her she's smart. Tell her she can do anything and be anything. And tell her the truth. Even when it hurts. Because even in tragedy and loss, you are still a good dad, Danny. And that little girl in there is going to need you. You know, she's going to be amazing. How do you know? I just do. Trust me. I have to go. I'll do my best, Emma. For her. Hello there. Remember me? Dr. Smith. It's been years. Fifteen or more, I'd wager. Oh, just thought I'd visit a neighbor. Funny. You should never do move in, did you, Doctor? No, I didn't. Just thought I'd visit my home away from home for a time. Take a walk under the stars. I'm away from home. This lane? Oh, the whole country, actually. I'm a frequent visitor to England, but a visitor nonetheless. May I sit? So what really brings you back here? Your daughter. She lives in London now. Writes for newspaper. I know. I've had the chance to get to know her through her work. She's turned out to be quite a wonderful young woman. She was always smart. I told her that every day. Even when she didn't feel smart. I told her she could be anything and do anything she set her mind to. Now she can. And tell her about next Friday. What's next Friday? I've met someone. Really? What's her name? Karen. Met her when I transferred departments at work. I'll tell Eliza after the third date or so. I want to see if this sticks or falls through, so she doesn't get her hopes up. Because if she gets her hopes up, so will you. Yeah. When Emma died, my heart was full. Full of love for her and longing for her. And love for our Eliza. Now after 16 years, I think there may be space for something more. Take your time. But as long as you tell her. Always tell her the truth. That advice you gave me, Doctor, changed my life. I only gave you words. You used them to help yourself and your daughter to a better life. It's because of you that she's become the way she is. The finest example of a true human being. Rational, emotional, soft in the heart but sharp in the brain. Stubborn and ready to let go when the time is right. I haven't aged a day. Not looking too bad yourself. Well, I coloured the grey as best I could. For the day. The rest is down to good genetics. Age has changed you, Denny. For the better, I think. Who are you? A friend. Why all those nights ago were you there? I go where I see a need. What did I need? Someone to understand you. Not to pity you or define you. I know loss, Danny. I know time. I know some people better than they know themselves. I wanted to help. You are a rather odd choice for a guardian angel. I am no angel. It's good to see you, Danny. Have fun on your date. And if you find yourself wondering if Karen Douglas has a nice ring to it, don't panic. It may just be time for change. And change is good. 
Change motivates us all, sometimes in the best of ways. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, my friend. <laughs>